Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Serial Killer here, and uh, <laughs> it's been uh, how many days was it since uh, my last video? But um, due to the fact that we have now in this season and month, um, now is the you know the time for lockdowns and everything, and uh, you know how can I say this? If so, since I'm gonna start my video with this, because uh, first off, for those that can't have uh, any connections or and you know with their cell phones they're trying to recharge the batteries and they got nothing else to you know pass the time with I'm, I'm show you here uh with you know from time to time i pass the time with this uh you know sorry the sly pursuit game which is created by uh, sorry for the glare folks uh challenger toys and games is a you know board game with uh, ages from the six to adult to the four players. I can see this uh this the picture here. Hold on, let me try to get a far. There we go. A little bit. Uh, sorry with the sunlight glare. There we go. As you can see, the pieces they have here. And um, let's oops. Oh, we got here the red, green, yellow, and blue. Yeah, as you can see, folks, and uh, pieces. There's the red piece. Hold on, I put this one side here. There's the red piece and the uh, green piece. Their little cones, they don't actually resemble the one here on the board. I mean, but sometimes other products and factions make them. This is their way how to make it. So let's say put this there. And uh, let's see. We got the basic here of the roll boards. Let's just check one type here. So, uh, seeking equipment. One pack of cards here. This check and uh, it's all indicating there's no six or nines. Uh, one game board. Hold on. One game board. Check. One game board. Then next we got the uh, four pieces each. Uh, excuse me, 16 pieces, but four pieces of each uh, colors. Let's see here. It's a uh, check. Let's see there. Yeah, sorry. Yellow, red, green, blue, and red. So let's open up this uh, board game. There we go. That's what it uh, looks like. Due to fact the size and the uh, distance of the camera here. There we go. Green, yellow, blue, and red. Okay. And how this uh, style of game enjoyables for paper? Yeah, I mean players. Let's see here. For blue, you know, if you're starting, hold on. Let's start first. But uh, you know, but start placing blue here and start place just a piece right there. And then we had the uh, yellow right here. Yeah. Oops. So. Since, uh, you know, I'm guys making this display what it looks like, is it? It's more like a, let's see here, a race type board, you know, slide and you know, slide pursuit game is, uh, you know, one piece coming out. But in order for a start is, you need to have this. That's here, folks, the deck. That's right. The deck of a, you know, for the game, how to start, you know, and, um, you know, was it shuffling it? You got to have highest number or lowest number, but also is when they place it right here. But let's see, place pack face down here. This is where it is, and then you know you are your you know play, player friend or companion, um, trying to you know pick a card and try to choose which one is you know what did you guys indicate uh, higher or lower. Then we're saying lower. There you go. As you can see, one and a three. So the lowest number you got is one. Uh, this also uh, reminded what it mentioned. There's no six and nines. That's right, no six and nines, which means it's uh, only those two numbers. And hold on, let's uh, also indicate what they are. Let's see a one here. The you know in the game. You know, hold on. I think that the number. Oh, sorry. Let's see here. Let's see one. 
Let's see, one here, since you know, if you're making move, uh, must either start a man out or move a one carry forward, which means uh, right here in this blue, it means if it's like, say example, you got one outside, but yes, either if you have all of these pieces out, which means you can only move one, but if all of them are still, let's say in the start zone, then you can place it outside. That's how it is. Or, you know, if you're, you know, starting just on the beginning, then that means that's it. And you discard it here in this place, pile. That's there. And then let's see here. The number who was either start a man out or move one man four to squares and draw again. Um, this one here is more like a lucky shot, I think. I mean, if you got the number two, you either, you know, start off again with the one if your character is coming out and place it here by its side or you know if you have you know all of them out or you don't want to use the the first one and you chose the second the later one which means you can move uh for example one two two spaces and the also discard this and then draw which means you have to Take out from the pile and find out what is this one here. A basic move card. Everyone knows just only, you know, move one, only one of your pieces here to move forward three spaces. There, and that's a card. And the next one, four, move one man backwards four squares. Now, this one is a little bit uh, kick in the game because for others, you know, always want to go forward. As you can see, the arrows there's the arrow points here to slide but uh, for this one if you're on the blue character or any car uh, color your piece you're using let's see here's the arrow pointing up to their safety zone and home which means that you have to be here to win the game i mean like for example all pieces arrived here on each you know game which means uh have to I, you know, from time to time, you can never tell how many mints in the game you have if you guys are, you know, playing the speed. But this one happens to be uh, with uh, backwards. Sometimes if you're lucky enough, you got one piece out here, and then you got to, you know, request for a moving backwards, and one, two, three, four, which means you can actually make a little cheat here to go to the end game of your piece. but. Uh, Sometimes it's always shocking, but if you're so, for example, from inside the safe zone and you kind of draw this one out and then it's a one, two, three, four backwards, or if it's, uh, you know, from time to time, so you get uh, shocking discards. And the next one here is, uh, let's see, move five, four squares forward, like one, two, three, four, five, if you're still lucky and it, you know, ends up in home. But if you're from this point, it's not this one right here. If you're from this point and you, it's the only piece or another piece trying to go out, then one, two, three, four, five, that, you know, for others, you, you can't just try to cheat on the game, but find out that you gotta move back because, yeah, yeah. let's see here. Must either move one man four seven squares or split the move between two men. Uh, this one here is, for example, you have four, four spaces, and then your remaining moves you can use it to move one character forward to the next, or you know just split it all to how many numbers you need. Up only up to the count of seven. I repeat, the count of seven. That's all with this card. Is either move forward or split the move, which means you can use only one piece to move seven, or you can split the seven into different pieces. And this one, this one's a big uh, eight move squares. Everyone wants to get their hands on this one to try to move farthest, but you know it's uh, just a move card. Now we have next is reminder. Sorry, can't say since this name sword, there's no six and seven seven. You can, you've, you've seen it. Let's see, it must be either move one man forward 10 squares or move one backward one square. 
in this indication, I mean, if you're having, like, say, for my front, uh, front of front uh, indication that, you know, for moving backwards, you can, instead of going forward with 10 pieces and going back, you can actually just do that and discard it. This one uh, move backwards since it says indicate the 10 squares or 10 moves forward. I mean, if your pieces are actually in the lane of race zone, you have to move forward and the 10. Also, what else have I? Oh, also nearly forgot about this one. If a piece of your blue or, you know, indicating characters actually ends up uh, this part on the end board or any other side they can, you know, from here, then slide. That's what it's uh, the indication to go the, let's say the diamond square is actually the locking part for it's not the corresponding color, but for the uh, slide pieces, Namely here, um, I don't know, over there, the slide pieces, as you can see, these all around. Actually, once you drop a piece character, and then it's not yet on your side, but you can still use it to move forward there. It's more like a quick move for those who wish to pursue. And uh, that's here, number 11, move one and forward, 11 squares, or you can your men change place with any of the opponent. Let's see this one here. For example, we have a yellow piece that's right here, and you have your blue piece over here. What this can do is actually you can you know what's it mentioned is the eleven spaces forward. But if you have an opposing player or any other players and you wish to switch places, then you can do so, which could also jeopardize your game for other for yourself and the you know your opponent because from time to time you can notice if the opponent just places right here and you're over here, you can actually discard not trying to change places, but you can do the switch places only if you're almost close, for example, if the yellow piece is right here on this spot right here on this spot and the blue piece is right here which means you can try to jump to gauge your end to win the game so that's how summer looks like and this one the largest move 12 spaces as you can see is of the eight and the five the movement is just uh, how many squares to move to the next side, which it is, which is uh, one of the and this one, this one is the like I say this a very painful game breaker for for start if you let's see for if you have let's say this piece that's not yet come out from the starting point and yet your opponent is let's say here and you wish to try to, you know, do them a little bit uh, speed bump, well, this here does it. For example, you this you one, you choose your opponent's call, opponent color, it either be the yellow, green, or red, and then this piece will eventually be set back here in the start, which is, a, you know, a very painful speed bump. And then this one piece, you see it's the blue, sorry, if you let's see what wish to exchange it out then there it's like uh exchanging instead of uh it's well you know the safety zone and try to also let's see oh yeah when i forgot the safety zone if it's this piece here if it's not outside of the safety zone you can't actually you know exchange the back here no no the safety zone is the only spot where this card here, where you your make the opponent or your opponent may make you try to go back to the starting point, namely this, will be invalid. So, which means if, you know, there's one man on your start, no opponent's man, things very, this card is forfeited. As you can see, this one is just only the, more like a heavy duty clincher, the speed bump that uh, for any of the, 
for them. So as you can see, this is all of this on the board game. And uh, that's the end of this serial killer. Hope you enjoy. I hope you, please also for those who are in quarantine in homes, well, hope you can find some enjoyment in board games since from time to time also have to deal with the board games if you cannot actually have uh, any connect uh, any connections or you know from time to time there are those in other areas with uh, what was it called power power control small blackouts and everything so when I meant blackout it means that uh, and also with the for computers with slow connections and you have to wait until it's all fixed again so this is it and uh, this is Serial Killer here hope you like and subscribe and thank you and signing off